Today's video is going to be a DIY. So in my favorites video, which I will link here in case you haven't seen it, but if you did, you will know that one of my favorites for the month of February was this bag organizer. So I made this bag organizer myself and in one of the polls that I just like added into the video, I asked if you guys would be interested in a DIY. So a few of you clicked on the poll and said that you would be. So I'm coming at you today with a little quick video on how to make this. So I'm not gonna make this exact one because I am not really in a need for another one this size, but I did still have some extra felt left over. So I decided to make a mini version, which I am currently using in this bucket bag. So it's exactly the same concept and it's the exact same techniques. It's the same material. It's the same everything, except it's just a smaller version. So you can follow the steps and tweak it to whatever size bag that you want. The process that I used to make this one and this one was exactly the same. I'm going to try to make this tutorial as easy to follow as possible, but a few of the materials you will need. You will need, of course, a sewing machine or you know someone who has a sewing machine that you can use for about an hour. You will also need some fabric or some felt. So I made my bag organizers with felt and I just picked this up from a fabric store. So if you're in Canada, if you're in Ontario, I picked mine up from fabric land very easy it was about ten dollars a meter and I got a full meter and I was able to make two of these large um, bag organizers and this mini one with a full meter of fabric so you get quite a lot for your money depending on the size of your organizer and how much felt you will need or fabric you will need um, you can cater how much you actually pick up to what you need if I was only going to be making one of these, I probably would have just picked up half a meter. So the other few things that you'll need is, you know, maybe a pen and paper, some tailor's chalk or something to mark out the pattern on your fabric or felt. Uh, of course, you'll need thread. So whatever thread best matches your felt or your fabric and some scissors. So it's very straightforward. If you want to know how to make one of these for yourself, then keep watching. The first step is to, of course, measure your handbag. You want to get the width, the height, and also the length that your handbag is so that you can create an appropriate sized organizer. So once you have the measurements, it's a very good idea to draw it out and make a pattern so that you know exactly what you're going to be cutting. To make it really easy to sew the sides of the organizer together, I'm creating these flaps on the edges of the sides that I'm going to be folding up. It will probably make a little bit more sense once you actually see it on the fabric, but this is also a good opportunity to picture where you want your pockets to be. So now that you have decided on, you know, the design of your organizer, it's time to create the pattern on your fabric. So again, I'm using felt here and I'm just drawing out essentially the exact same design that I had on paper, but instead on the fabric, I am using Taylor's chalk for this. You can use whatever you have in order to make the markings. This is just something I had in my collection. I got it from a fabric store and it washes and or wipes away very easily and that's why I chose it. Here you can see I am drawing those flaps again. Again, the flaps are quite essential when you are finally sewing the sides up together. At this point, hopefully you have measured twice so you only cut once because once you start cutting, there's really no going back, but this is when you're gonna start cutting out the pattern that you just drew. When you're cutting the notch on the flap, make sure you're not going past where the sides and the base meet, otherwise it might mess up the structure of your bag. So here's just a look at what the pattern looked like before and how it looks cut out. Next step is to cut out the patterns of your pockets. So depending on how many pockets you want, how wide you want it, how deep you want it, that's kind of just depends on, you know, your preference. When you are deciding on the style of your pockets though, it's important that you decide whether you want your pockets to be flush against the sides or if you want them to pucker out a little bit. Because if you do want them to pucker out a little bit, you will have to cut them at a bit of an angle, almost like a trapezoid like I'm showing here. Once you have all of your pockets created, you can pin them onto the base of your organizer and then start sewing. So I always start with the bottom of the pocket 
first because depending on if you want your pocket to be flush or if you want it to be puckered, you're gonna have to sew it slightly differently. So for the puckered pocket, as you know, you cut the pocket into almost like a trapezoid shape, but that's not how you're gonna sew it into the organizer. You pinch the fabric out slightly so that when you do sew the sides onto the organizer, it is in a straight line, again, perpendicular to the bottom of the pocket. So as you can see, the fabric puckers out a little bit so that it's not fully flush against the wall of the bag organizer. Of course, if you don't want the pockets to rush out a little, then all you have to do is sew the fabric flush to the walls of the bag organizer. You don't have to worry about pinching the fabric. You just have to sew the bottoms and the sides up. Once you have all of your pockets finalized and sewed in, this is where those side flaps are going to come in handy. You're essentially just gonna pinch them together and it's going to really make it a lot easier to sew the edges together. So you're just gonna do that on all four sides until each corner is secure. Once you have the edges all secured, this is the easy part. You're just going to make sure to snip all of the loose threads and then you're also going to cut the excess flap from the corners so that you don't have just that excess fabric there and it's flush with the line that you've sewn. So if you have done your measurements correctly, your organizer should fit perfectly in the bottom of your handbag. There you have it, a quick DIY on how to make a bag organizer. Hopefully the instructions were easy enough to follow. As always, if you have any questions, you can leave them below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. So cheers to an organized handbag and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.